Today it's Saturday, and the warehousemen aren't around, so we can get up late and have our baths. We can go anywhere in the house, but I like to use our toilet. Mr Van Dan takes his bath in Peter's room, while Mrs Van Dan has yet to take a bath. She's waiting to see which is the best place. Mother washes in the living room behind a screen, while Father takes his bath in the office downstairs. I wish they'd all hurry up. <clears throat> Please stay up here for the next half an hour. Please stay up here for the next half an hour. I've got it, I've got it. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Ah, I've done the water. <sighs> Useless boy. Peter baths downstairs in the radio room, you see, and he's terrified that someone's going to walk in on him. Thank you. All right, I got it, I got it. His precautions are rather pathetic, aren't they? Oh. Mother! And Margot baths in the front office, where she makes me stand guard. Do hurry up. You took long enough. We're we allowed to peek through, Father said so. It's funny to see all those people. We used to throw water at them. We didn't. They used to jump up to see where it came from. Now they're looking up for bombs. And yet, life is carrying on. That's the strange thing. There's a family living in the barge. They've got the sweetest dog. Once I even saw a Jewish couple walking along the street. I felt I was gazing at one of the seven wonders of the world. It gave me such a funny feeling, as if I'd denounced them to the authorities. Can you pass me the towel? What time are they coming? Seven o'clock. Can't wait. Precautions are rather pathetic, aren't they? 